Uh, now we move on to uh, uh, our you know, search for indigenous diagnostic kits, which continues as we heard <clears throat> more even this week that the ones that we had ordered from another country, I think it was China, uh, they haven't been working. So there is a need to have more uh, diagnostic kits which work. And th those attempts have been actually important. And that's why we, are, we have one more very exciting technology today, which is towards rapid diagnostic kit. And we have a colleague from DNA Experts, a company, which is traditionally building diagnostic kits. They have developed a kit. They have had one round of engagement with ICMR Institute to validate it. They are doing another round. The idea is that they are ready to send another round of set. And if they do well in that, they will be the next approved uh, company to actually manufacture and give us the diagnostic kit. We thought that that is a good uh, 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 technology for us to share here. So I'll request Dr. Ashwini Kumar, a DNA expert, uh, or to help us with those details. I'd like to add a brief about DNA experts. So basically, we are a molecular diagnostic company. So, but we have been all this while focused into services. So we have been providing molecular diagnostic services to various labs, hospitals. And then, you know, suddenly COVID happened. So we already have made lots of indigenous kits. We have been trying for Bayrak funds for last two years, submitted 18 applications. None of them got through, but yes, uh, we should not stop. I mean, fine, rejections are part of life and we keep moving on. So, you know, COVID happened and then we thought we have to also contribute our you know, two cents into this. So we saw what is being done in the market, what our competitors are there, what is happening in India, what is happening in US. And we saw one of the major bottlenecks that we saw was the number of tests which were being done were pretty less as compared to our population, which have, you know everybody has been telling to ICMR since day one, increase the number of testing, increase the number of testing. But you know, ICMR, it hit one roadblock that you know one particular site cannot do more than 1000 tests a day, even if it, that site were running 24 hours. So what we did was we started working on a kit, which is going to be much, much faster than the currently existing kit. So let's say, you know, if one test currently using, uh, you know, the fastest kit available in India is taking 2.5 hours. So what we thought was, how can we increase this time and decrease this time so that the throughput can be increased. So, you know, the site, which is currently doing 1000 tests that can do probably 2500, 3000 tests within the same time frame, utilizing the same infrastructure. So. We worked on this cocktail and Primer Pro Mix, and uh, we were able to create this kit, which can do this testing in 58 minutes. So, you know, uh, this PCI kit can give you results in 58 minutes flat. We have already tested it in two commercial instruments, one on BioRide and one on ABI. Uh, it's giving absolutely fantastic results. Yes, ICMR, we got some, I would say, uh, you know, some hiccups at ICMR, but we are still working on it. Yesterday, we received the news from them that they are uh, reconsidering uh, the suggestion that we gave since they were able to figure out that there was some problem in the reports. So perhaps they will reevaluate the kit themselves without giving us them the second kit. Having said that, we are working on one more aspect of COVID, which is uh, viral transport media. So, you know, recently it came into uh, the news that viral transport media is something which is pretty uh, less in supply uh, to the market. So we made our own, you know, viral transport media. And as we are speaking uh, from next week, we are going to start manufacturing of viral transport media also. I was able to raise some small amount of funds for this. So that's why, I mean, at a small scale, we are going to start next week in Andhra Pradesh. This 58 minutes, is it like the first, uh, like such a super fast testing kit or are there others in the market also? Currently in India, there is none. I mean, oh, the, yeah. least, the least one, uh, uh, two and a half hours. And, you know, we, our second version of the kit is also ready. 
So two and a half hours is when you take you know two, one or two or three or four samples. But you, if you take samples in a batch of hundred, then you know that batch of hundred sample testing that takes maybe five to six hours. That's the minimum time frame for analysis of hundred samples in a batch. But in our case, if even if you do hundred samples in a batch, it's going to take not more than one hour twenty minutes. So you know, if you go more testing of more samples per batch, the difference in time saving that increases a lot. So you know, almost five to six times of time you can save. uh in batch analysis bigger batch analysis